Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Indian Dev. My name is Ayush. And I am Nishan. So in today's video, we are going to discuss the polyfill of filters. In the last video, we have discussed that what a polyfill is. And this is the very first video for the polyfill. Uh, where we will be, you know, covering this filter uh, polyfill. And uh, uh, similarly, we will be covering everything in this particular series of uh, polyfill in JavaScript. So without any delay, we can start uh, with the polyfill of filter. But before that, if you guys have not subscribed to the Indian Dev, then please consider subscribing to the Indian Dev. Now we can uh, simply jump on to this filter part. So yeah, Nishant, uh, first of all, uh, before writing the code for the filter, I just wanted to know that uh, what are the things that we should uh, keep in mind before you are coding for uh, any polyfill. Okay, so these are the core points while you know working with the filter so first point is all filter always return a new array so first thing you have to keep in mind while using the filter so it always return a new array and the second thing is there is a logic of all loop inside a filter the third and last point it always check for a bit so yeah like this yeah. is a good approach uh, like if you are writing any of the filter code or any of the polyfill code then at that time before just writing the polyfill code you just need to uh, just revise that what are the points that is necessary to implement the polyfill of the filter so yeah we can start with an array because uh, as we all know that the filter method is for array so nishant is uh, describing an array which is having some numbers before implementing the polyfill we just need to know that how the filter method works right so we will be using the uh you know the filter method that has been provided by javascript that how it works so i have declared an array of the numbers so these are the value two four five six okay and in the next line we are implementing the filter uh, function on the array so basically it is taking the value and i have put the condition okay so if value less than five okay if the criteria is fulfilled so the new array will be created and all the value is pushed to the array 2 in the console you can see the result the first is the original array which is 2 4 5 6 and second is the new array okay which is 2 and 4 so that how filter is work so from here we can uh, always see that uh, the points that we have defined that uh, f uh, as we have applied the filter on this uh, like you know uh, the array and and that is not changing anything with the original array so you can see the original array is the same after applying the filter as well so the first point is clear to us that it is returning a new array and logic of loop yeah definitely because this is an array and to verify any condition or anything we need to iterate uh, by using the loops and right now here you can see in the callback method we have defined you know we have defined a condition and this filter is checking that condition and then only it is ret returning the result to the array 2 that we can see in the uh, console as well now uh, we can uh, go with the polyfill of filter before that what we can do just to simulate uh, this thing uh, just to simulate the behavior of uh, filter what we can do is inside uh, you know the array we can write array dot prototype uh, and there is a method of filter so what we can do we can assign it to null so that you know we are just simulating that the filter method does not exist for our browser now we yeah. can create our own filter so basically uh, for you know making the filter we are providing it to the prototype of the array class which is mm -hmm. the parent class of every method of the array okay so uh, right now you have to only remember that it will available to all the method because it's a concept of like inheritance in the javascript so i have created a function my filter uh, and then first point which i have tell you that filter always return a new array so let's create a new array and the second point there is a for loop inside an array so for the length of the array uh, there is a question arise in all of your mind how we you know get the length of the array so we will take the help of this which will refer to the this array class in which we are providing our method so this dot length we will simply iterating over it and then third and last point that filter is always checked for a condition so we will provide the condition callback and it accepts the argument like particular value okay and the next next thing is in the index and the third and last is the pool array which is the optional parameter for the filter this is the callback okay, which we are you know taking in the function okay in our own polyfill and we are checking for the complete thing okay and if the condition is satisfied so we can you know push that particular element to our array okay and in the end 
So we will simply just return the new array. So what we can do is uh, the thing that we were doing with the, the existing filter uh, for array two. What I can do is I can create array three, and this time I will not be using proper method of filter. I will be using my own method, and that is the polyfill of uh, filter method. So I will be using this uh, my filter over the array, and I am just passing the uh, same callback method that I used to pass in the filter method. Now, if I just wanted to console array three, then let's see if that is working in a similar way or not. So yeah, you can see here that array three is uh, doing the same stuff. Array three is having the same result that the array two was having, which was using you know filter. Now we can check it again. Like if I can pass some more, uh, you know, some other condition then it is working or not so yeah it is working absolutely fine so that's how like we have achieved the polyfill code of uh, filter now if i can conclude uh, then you can see that for creating the uh, polyfill of filter what we have done is initially we have defined the you know defined the points that how filter works then after we initialized our polyfill code and in that inside that code we already know that uh, yeah we are we will be receiving a callback method which is responsible for returning the condition like uh, which, which is responsible for returning the you know if uh, that particular element to be returned or not and as nishan mentioned that a filter will always uh, you know return a new array that's why he has initiated a new array and after that uh, he has initiated a for loop conceptual thing in this uh, you know in this for loop or in this uh, my filter method is that that how i will be receiving the array that is being uh, filtered like if i am applying uh, the filter on this particular array then how i will be receiving the array inside this particular polyfill uh, the only way uh, to get that is this as this is simply referencing to the uh, you know current array on which this particular method is being applied so that's how we were able to you know get the length of that particular array and after that again uh, yeah just to pass the data in the callback as this is the callback method we need to pass the value and the index and the array so yeah value we can definitely get from the array and the array is this and the you know iteration is i so we have passed the particular element we have passed the index we have passed the complete array as well and depending on that condition like if you will see that this callback method is a method which is returning some sort of true or false depending on this condition so we can simply have that in the if condition and if that condition is true then only we will be pushing the uh, you know element to the new array and that's how we are receiving a new array that is array 3 and uh, yeah now i believe that nishan this is uh, pretty much you know interesting to create the polyfill of filter uh, and i believe that everyone now knows that uh, that how we can implement the polyfill no no uh, in the next video we are going to see the polyfill of that how we can create it how it is different from the filter that's it from this video thank you for watching this video guys and again if you guys are new to my channel then please consider subscribing to the indian dev and if you have uh, you know understood the polyfill of filter then please consider liking this video and uh, let us know in the comment that what else can be done with the polyfills apart from this list thank you for watching this video guys thank you very much mm -hmm.